hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel i am hd signatures in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite nigerian makeup products and i'm going to be doing a live demo of each product on myself to create a complete face look so i am going to be showing each product from each brand in order of makeup application so it will be a lot easier for you guys to pick your area of interest when you are you know judging at the end of the whole look so let's keep on watching guys the first product i am going to be using on my face is from julie diamond paris and this is micellar water this product is amazing like it takes off makeup residue or even if you just apply the makeup it takes it off like really really fast and leaves your skin feeling soft feeling like you apply the moisturizer so guys for this next product is the moisturizer and i have to favorite moisturizer that i love so much and it's from different brands but i alternate between these two products and this is from la vida brand and this is from julie diamond paris this is a deep moist facial moisturizer and this is super moisturizer it's 24 hours moisture ultra hydrating minimizes wrinkles smooth rough skin keep skin plump and this says age renewer anti-acne oil free and this contains SPF 30 from La Vida. So I normally alternate between these two brands depending on what I'm trying to go for or what I'm feeling like at that point in time. This is the Julie Diamond Paris Moisturizer. So now that the moisturizer has absorbed into my skin, this is the side for La Vida and this is the side for Julie paris diamond the next product is a primer this is an hydro creep primer from champions creation but this product has a sticky consistency i guess that's why it's called grip primer it's hydrating it feels so cool on the skin like you are applying aloe vera gel on your skin guys the next product on our list is a foundation and this is from a brand called debbie luster i had my first self setting experience with this foundation it blends out beautifully it doesn't feel sticky or cakey and it gives a natural finishing i'm going to put it on and you guys will be the judge so i'm using the shade in dl45 warm tan and i'm going to be using dl50 in warm knot let me just do a, a coverage test for you guys I'm going to give this some time to settle and i'll show you guys what i meant when i said this foundation is self-setting so guys this is the foundation on me so far without nothing it feels matte and it, it's breathable it's not sticky and it doesn't feel cakey for my under eyes i'm going to be using the same brand product which is the Luster, and this is their concealer I'm going to use warm only but before going ahead to use the concealer i'll first of all go ahead and use a foundation from the brand under my eyes this is to you know double check uh, because this concealer is a lot i think it's too shade lighter than my actual skin color so placing this directly will not give me that kind of look that i want so this is the foundation and this is to cover up any blemishes under the eyes the, the concealer I'm going to be using next is for the purpose of brightening my under eyes. So while this under eyes is drying down, I'm going to go ahead and blend this part. So for my under eyes, I am going to First of all, make sure this part is well blended out first. I'll push the excess to the side of my nose. That will help with the you know reduction of the nose and make it come out a lot slimmer and a lot pointier. So this is how you tackle any form of under eye creases. The excess of your concealer should go to the inner part of your eye, blend it towards the side of your nose. The what you have left blend that towards your under eyes that way you are not having excess and 
don't have any crease in line so guys now that the other eyes look really flawless and airbrushed we are going to go ahead and set this in place to set this under eye in place before setting powder i'll go ahead and use a compact press powder from la vida this powder palette is amazing guys so i like to use this shade here to set my under eye first tap of excess you always want to tap of excess i use that to set my under eye first before going ahead to use a setting powder look at that guys and for my setting powder today i'm going to be making use of cpd champion creations and this is their ultra mattifying loose setting powder it's oil control i like this setting powder a lot i like the fact that it has a tint of yellow which makes it super amazing for women of color it has a blurring effect is that and i'm here first then extend what i have on my brush under my eyes that way i'm locking in that compact powder and i'm also blowing out the texture so guys the next product is going to be a cream blusher so this is what this blush palette is looking like and this is from cpd and i'm also going to be using the beauty sponge to apply it if you want a seamless application from cream blushers you want to use a beauty sponge So for that i like to use a powder from la vida as my transition color this from the palette i'll place that here you can see then i'll bring it to the front side of my brows So that way when i'm if i need to contour my nose i'll just follow through with the guideline even in a circular motion this is just to blend out the ash line from that powder you can see how that blended that way so what i have here i can basically extend that to the side of my nose without directly going into the powder so guys for the eyeshadow that we're going to be using today i'm basically using two eyeshadows from different brands but i'm going to make it work by doing same look but if i can't do same look i'll basically do different look but just so you guys see the pigment of this eyeshadow i can't i mean my conscience will not allow me to pick one of this shadow and use it in this video because i know i basically love two of this eyeshadow so i just want to show you guys to see how they look this is from rubber beauty this eyeshadow is from rubber beauty guys look at the way it looks and this is from Paula Beauty. Like Nigeria brands are doing really, really, really well. So this is from Ruba Beauty. Guys, this is from Paula Beauty. And this is look at this brand, guys. This is Ruba Beauty and this is Paula Beauty. This is blending so beautifully, guys. See, let's see how this look at this color. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, guys. For my liquid eyeliner, I'm going to be using Julie Paris liquid eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner 
I'm going to go ahead and fix my lashes off camera because the lashes is a random lashes and I can't remember where I got it from so I'm going to fix that and I'll be right back so guys this is the lashes and this is really really pretty so guys for my under eyes Paula Beauty eyeliner pencil in white So guys, after applying this pencil, I don't leave it like this. I tidy up my eyes by going under my lash line to tidy it up. For that, I'm using that same Lavida powder. For my mascara, I'm using Paula Beauty mascara. This mascara is the bomb, guys. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. Once it dries, then I'll go back and reapply more. This is the mascara. I don't know if you can see it. So that's the mascara. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. And to do that, I'm using Lavida powder palette. So I'm going to use a powder blush. And I like this powder blush from Debbie Luster Fantasy. I'm going to be applying highlighter and this highlighter from Julie Diamond Paris. Can you see that? What I'm seeing in my mirror here, guys, is blinding. So for the lips, I'm using the Beluster in Cocoa and Beige. I'll use Cocoa to line my lips first. After Cocoa, I'm going to use Beige in the center. So guys, this is the finished look. So guys, I'm not by any means saying these are the best Nigerian makeup products. They are other amazing makeup products, but I haven't tried them. Once I try them out, I will come give you guys an update. But for the purpose of this video, these are the products that I've tried. Or if you have any Nigerian brands that you're looking at getting, but you're not so sure, that is why I'm here. That is why I am your plug. Use me to your advantage. I will do it for you guys. I will. Thank you so much for watching up until this extent. You guys are the real MVP. If you're coming across this face for the first time, hi, I'm HD Signatures. I am a professional makeup artist, a content creator based in Lagos, Nigeria. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and every product or product used in this video will be listed down in the description box. So guys, go check them out. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.